a very warm welcome to you out there for joining us in this special edition of the program AIT Infotech Network and I am Bayero Agabi. For details you can log on to AITinfotechnetwork.com or better still you watch us live on Saba Africa TV that is on YouTube. You're welcome. For news, views, trends in ICT globally and in Africa in particular, watch AIT Infotech Network for the latest news and innovation in ICT for development in Africa. Plus, what technology can do for you from business to politics, tourism and culture. I am Bayero Agabi. You're welcome. The Nigerian Postal Service NIPOST in a demonstration of our commitment to eliminate some of the activities which make delivery of capital market mail difficult has brought together stakeholders to prefer ways to address the challenges. Society where access to information lies at the heart of every human activity. Information about goods and services is increasingly driving global markets while many companies are expanding their operations beyond traditional products to feed their products and services grow throughout the world as a result of effective marketing strategies. This was the focus of the 2013 Bulk Post Annual Customers Forum with the theme Nipping in the Bud, the Reemergence of Conversion of Dividend Warrants, the Role of the Banks while outlining NIPO's readiness to forestall some of the loopholes associated with delivery of capital market mills, the Postmaster General, Malam Ibrahim Moribaba, observed that the growth in e-commerce is creating both opportunities and challenges for many service providers, including NIPOs. This time it is about competing in a digital world and how to improve service delivery in spite of decline in mail volume. The client may go here with a referring to personal needs. It is also about how to serve the needs of e-commerce, how to compete in passes and express markets, and how to make the post office relevant for tomorrow's customers. Speaking on the role of the Central Bank of Nigeria in tackling fraudulent conversion of dividend warrants, Mrs. Lloyd Juma, who represented the CBN, said the issue remains one of the miscellaneous frauds the CBN is rigorously fighting. The CBN, in an attempt to call these sharp practices, have taken steps by issuing circulars and warning institutions to desist from such acts or abating them. However, as I've mentioned earlier, the way forward is for the public to continually update their addresses to ensure that their dividend warrants are properly handled and delivered by NAPOS. Before the very first time we came towards the fight of fraudulent conversion of dividend warrants, it is important to understand how strong the institutional framework and integrity of staff of the foreign institution will enable the fight. The registrants and the master's responsibility to ensure that information related to various shareholders in their database are not linked to process. That is the show for now. For more details, please log on to www.youtube.com slash TV for more details. Or simply text us your comment. Until next week. I remain yours sincerely. Bye, Agabi. Bye-bye.